beyond disappointment. September the 21st, 1840, Monday. By what was in hand for the orphans, and by what had come in yesterday, the need of today is more than supplied, as there is enough for tomorrow also. Today a brother from the neighbourhood of London gave me ten pounds to be laid out as it might be most needed. As we have been praying many days for the school, Bible and missionary funds, I took it all for them. This brother knew nothing about our work when he came three days since to Bristol. Thus the Lord, to show his continued care over us, raises up new helpers. They that trust in the Lord shall never be confounded. Some who helped for a while may fall asleep in Jesus. Others may grow cold in the service of the Lord. Others may be as desirous as ever to help, but have no longer the means. Others may have both a willing heart to help, and have also the means, but may see it the Lord's will to lay them out in another way. And thus, from one cause or another, were we to lean upon man, we should surely be confounded but in leaning upon the living God alone we are beyond disappointment and beyond being forsaken because of death or want of means or want of love or because of the claims of other work. How precious to have learned in any measure to stand with God alone in the world and yet to be happy and to know that surely no good thing shall be withheld from us whilst we walk uprightly.